to solve this let's call this equation one yes so a squared minus b squared if we should square it we are going to have nine squared right so a squared um minus b squared squared is equal to 81. This is JJ Online Math Class. If this is the first time you are tuning in, you are highly welcome. Let's get to the board and let's solve what we have on the board. All right. So, but there is an identity for something like this. Yes, there is this algebraic identity that a minus b squared is equal to a squared plus b squared minus 2ab. All right. So it's an identity. Now in this case, our a is a squared and our b is b squared. So let's recall the exponent law that states that a to the power of m raised to the power of n is equal to a to the power of mn. All right. So if we should use this here, okay, if we should relate it to this, then this can be expressed in this form as what? Well. So we have a squared minus b squared squared will be equal to a squared squared, that is a raised to the power of 2 times 2, which is a to the power of 4, plus b raised to the power of 2 times 2, which is b to the power of 4, minus 2 times a and b, right? That is 2 times a squared b squared, okay? So we have a squared minus b squared squared, right? Is equal to a to the power of 4 plus b to the power of 4, minus two brackets we have a b every all two of them are squared so we can actually square them you get you can actually square them all right so we now have that a squared minus b squared all squared is equal to a to the power of four plus b to the power of four minus two brackets now we have our a b to be three okay so a b is three squared a squared minus b squared squared is what 81 so let's substitute that here so we have that 81 is equal to a to the power of 4 plus b to the power of 4 minus 3 squared is 9 okay 9 times 2 is what 18 so we can say that 18 this minus this minus 18 we cross the equation sign to become plus 18 right so we have 81 plus 18 is equal to a to the power of 4 plus b to the power of 4. so it's 1 plus 18 will give us 1 plus 8 is 9 and 8 plus 1 is 9. now 99 is a to the power of 4 plus b to the power of 4. let's call this another important equation that is equation 2. now recall the algebraic identity that a plus b squared is equal to a squared plus b squared plus 2ab okay now what if we have a squared plus b squared squared is now going to be what a squared squared which is a to the power of 4 plus b squared squared right which is going to be b to the power of 4 plus 2 multiplied by a squared plus b a squared b squared right a squared b squared all right so we have that a squared plus b squared all squared all right is equal to a to the power of four plus b to the power of four plus two brackets a b squared so we have a squared plus b squared squared is going to give us a squared plus b squared squared will give us a to the power of 4 plus b to the power of 4 is 99 okay plus two brackets our a b is 3 recall our a b is 3 is given so 3 squared so we have a squared plus b squared raised to the power of 2 is equal to 99 plus now 2 times 9 will give us 18 so if we solve, we have that a squared plus b squared is equal to 8 plus 9 will give us 17. So we write 7 and carry 1. 9 plus 1 is 10 plus 1 is 11. All right. So we have, permit me to clean this to this point. So this is what we have. a squared plus b squared squared is equal to 1, 1. 
now let's take the square root of both sides of this equation if we do that we have that square root of this place will give us what a squared plus b squared is going to be equal to plus or minus square root of 117 all right so a squared plus b squared is equal to plus or square root of 9 times 13 so we have a squared plus b squared is equal to plus or minus square root of 9 will give us 3 root what 13 so this is what a squared plus b squared all right don't worry just stick with me and see how we are going to bring out the results from this place all right but before that if this is the first time you are coming across this channel please click on the subscription button and on your notification bell so that you'll be notified anytime i upload a new video all right thank you so much so now let's use this identity this identity that a plus b all squared right since we now have value for our a squared plus b squared we are going to get it from here is what a squared plus b squared plus 2ab now we have value for this and we have value for this so we can actually get this all right now let's go we have a plus b squared is equal to a squared plus b squared is what plus or minus 3 root what 13 plus 2 brackets our a b is 3 so we have a plus b squared is equal to plus or minus 3 root 13 plus 6 okay all right now we have a plus b squared is equal to 6 plus or minus 3 root what 13 okay now from here we have two values of our a plus b squared right so a plus b squared is equal to 6 plus 3 root 13 okay we need to also wipe here now you're going to take the plus or what your a plus b squared is equal to 6 minus 3 root 13 6 minus 3 root 13 okay now let's solve for a a plus b in both of them now a plus b is going to be what if we take square root of both sides that is square root of a plus b squared is equal to square root of 6 plus 3 root 13 now this we can see this we are left with a plus b is equal to plus or minus square root of 6 plus 3 root 13 that is for this side okay now for this side Notice that 6 minus 3 root 13 is going to give us a negative number. Yes, and it's not possible. You cannot say a plus b to the power of 2 is going to give us a negative number. So this one is not what acceptable. So the only valid answer for this question is that a plus b is equal to plus or minus square root of 6 plus 3 root 13. Thank you for watching and have a bright, lovely day. Bye.